Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing well. So I hope on the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. Yes, this video is about uh, last year ISC, how the intensive was that I am going to discuss in this video. And I will give you overall statistics about different companies which have created the campus. And in this video, I will talk about all the departments. So the data that I have gathered is a master data. It contains all the all the different companies which have created different, uh, you know, different departments of ISC and which includes management departments, science departments, then different branches of uh, engineering like CSA, CDS, electrical. So everything will be there in this particular video. I'll talk, I'll talk in detail about the company name, uh, the different positions that they're offering for internship, which are the departments that, you know, they have taken students from. And finally, what are the stipends that they are offering to the students for the internship? So everything will be there in this particular video. If you're interested, if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. And before starting the video, I always say, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload new kind of videos, you get instant notification. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. With any delay, let's get started into today's video. Before starting the video, there is a disclaimer that, you know, as I mentioned that this data that I've, that I've gathered, it's a master data about all the departments uh, covering science departments, management departments, uh, engineering department. So this video won't be a organized video like other videos where I know what to say and different slots I used to discuss. But rather here, I, I, I'll talk about these companies one by one. And I'll talk about what are the roles that they offered and what are the branches or discipline students that they have taken. This might be a longer video, but I feel like many students used to demand that how is the placement in other departments than engineering department and this particular video will be helpful for them because the data about internship is kind of a reflection, a reflection about how the placement is to happen in ISC Bangalore. So I'll talk about different science branches and management branches uh, internship data that will be helpful for those students because till now I didn't get any data about the placement scenario on those departments. So hopefully this internship data will be helpful for them to get an idea that how placement might have happened in these departments uh, during the placement session. So the first company which had visited ISC campus for internship last year was JP Morgan. Uh, they, have, they, have, they have chosen three students for internship. Three of them was from Masters in Management from Department of Management Studies and the stipend was 1,15,000 per month. Next was IBM Research Lab. They have taken one student from PhD in Engineering uh, from Machine Learning from the Department of ECE. And the salary that they're offering was 1,10,000 rupees. Next was Dunzo. Now, uh, it's, it's a popular startup. They have taken two students, again, from Masters in Management from Department of Management Studies. And the position that they were offering was Data Science in, Intern. And the stipend that they offered was 50,000 per month. Next was BioVia. Uh, so they have taken one PhD student from Science Branch, especially from uh, Solid State and Structural Chemistry Department. And they have taken uh, for the for the position of apprentice in software engineering, and the stipend that they were offering was one lakh ten thousand rupees. Next was IDFC. They have taken again two students from Masters in Management uh, program from Department of Management Studies. Uh, the role was intern, and the salary or stipend that they offered was seventy five thousand per month. Next was Mercedes Benz, Netradyne, and IHX. Three of three of the company have taken one student from again. Master's in Management Program for Department of Management Studies. And uh, the salary that they offered was 45000 for Mercedes Benz, 30000 from Netadyne, and 85000 for IHX. Next was Equinix. Uh, sorry, Equinix. Uh, they have taken one MTech student from CDS Department and one uh, Master's in Management from Management Studies Department. The position was Data Science Intern, and the salary or stipend that they were offering was 80000 per month. Next was Strand Life Science. Uh, they have again student one management student from uh, Department of Management Studies from the MTech uh, curriculum, and the stipend that they offered was fifty thousand per month. Next was Western Digital. They have taken two PhD students from science discipline, one from biology and one from material science, and the the salary or stipend that they were offering was fifty thousand per month. Next was. Uh, Accenture, they have taken two PhD students from engineering discipline, one from CDS department and one from electrical department. They was uh, looking for positions uh, that are R&D specialist and they was offering 50,000 per month. Next was Honeywell, uh, they have taken one PhD student from engineering 
uh, from the Department of Interdisciplinary Center for Energy Resource. Uh, they have taken the position for which they have recruited the student who was intern, master, software engineer, and they were offering 75,000 per month. Next was Infineon Technology. They have taken three MTech students, one, uh, two from Smart Manufacturing and one from AI Department. And the salary that they offered was 60000 per month uh, during the internship period. Next is Samsung. They have taken one PhD from engineering student from electrical engineering branch, but the position and stipend is not meant. Next was Texas Instrument. They have taken quite a lot of students for the internship in their company. I think around 10 students got recruited by Texas Instrument for internship. And they have taken students from different departments like MTech in Electrical Engineering, MTech in EC, MTech in Microelectronics and VLC Design. And the role that they offered was TI Scholar, that means Texas Instrument Scholar. And they were offering 25000 per month as stipend. Next was Badad Auto. So Badad Auto again have taken quite a few students, I think around 8 students that they have taken. And they have taken students again from different departments like MTech in Mechanical Engineering. M tech in smart manufacturing, M tech in you know computer science and automation, electrical engineering, CDS department, AI department, aerospace department. For all these departments, they have taken students, and depending on different departments, they have offered different roles. Stipend was constant, that is forty thousand per month. Next is Nutranix. It is a very popular system a company for CSA department. They have taken two students from M tech in CSA, and the role was uh, intern for member to technical staff. They were offering one lakh ten thousand rupees per month as stipend. Uh, stipend. Next was Siemens Technology. Uh, they have taken uh, two MTech students from robotics and automation system. That is from Robot Boss Center for Cyber Physical System. One from Aerospace Department and one from CDS Department. And they were actually offering forty thousand per month as stipend. Next was Qualcomm. They have also taken students from different departments like signal processing, EC, AI. Uh, CDS from all these departments they have taken uh, students for internship and based on different departments the role was different but the stipend was 45,000 per month uh, during the internship period in Qualcomm. Next was Cisco. Cisco have taken two students from CSA department and one from robotics department and the role was software engineer and they were offering 1,20,000 rupees per month. Next was Fidelity and they have taken four students uh, three from CSA department and one from CDS department. And the position was intern ARD and they were offering 1 lakh uh, rupees per month uh, for the internship stipend. Next was Stryker. Stryker has taken one student from MTech in AI and one from MTech in Robotics and Automation System. Uh, the position was intern, intern in Software Engineering and the salary of stipend that they were offering was 50,000 rupees per month. Next was uh, Corning. Uh, so they have taken two students, one from MTech in, one from uh, from MTech in Aerospace and one from MTech in Mechanical Engineering. And they for, for Aerospace, the position was uh, named as Fluid and Thermal Intern. For Mechanical, the position name was Solid Mechanics Intern and the salary that they offered was 70,000 rupees per month. Next was Analog Device. They have taken three students, one from Microelectronics and VLSI Design, one from EC and one from Instrumentation Systems. Uh, that means from Instrumentation and Applied Physics Department. So they, they offer two types of uh, position, analog intern and digital design intern, and the salary was 60,000 rupees per month. Next was TVS Motor Company. They have taken two students from CDS department, M taken CDS department. Uh, they, they were actually, the position that they was uh, offering was project training in data scientist role. And the salary that they offered was 40,000 rupees per month. Next was Media Tech. They have taken one student from instrumentation system. And the salary that they offered was 54,000 per month. Next was Pran. They have taken one student from, for, from MTech in Aerospace and one from MTech in Mechanical Engineering. And that they offered 50,000 rupees per month. Again, IBM has taken three students from Computer Science and Automation Department, MTech students. So this is, I think, IBM India. The last one I, I mentioned was from IBM Research Lab. So they have taken intern role and the, the salary that they offered was 40,000 rupees per month. Next was Orange Wood Lab. Uh, so, so they have taken two students, one from MTech in Signal Processing, and second one was uh, MTech in Smart Manufacturing from the Center for Product De Design and Manufacturing uh, branch. And they they are offering actually 65,000 rupees per month as the stipend for intensity. Next was Flamapp. Uh, so they have taken MTech students from AI from the Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, so the role was AI intern and the salary that they offered was 35,000 per month. 
Next is Snowflake. Uh, they have taken one MTech research student from CDS department as software engineering intern and they have also offered 35,000 per month as salary. Next was Caterpillar. They have taken one MTech student uh, from smart manufacturing program from the department of or center for product design and manufacturing branch. And the salary that they offered was 25,000 rupees per month. Next was Triveni Turbuin. Uh, they have taken, I think, six students, uh, one from aerospace engineering, uh, sorry, five students, one from aerospace engineering, one from climate science engineering, and three from mechanical engineering. And the salary that they offered was 35,000 per month. Next was Polymates Lab. They have taken one MTech student from a CSA department. Uh, so the role was compile, compiler intern. So I think it's a compiler based company and the salary that they offered was one lakh rupees per month during internship period. Next was ABB India. They have taken one MTech student from signal processing department and one for, from management department. And they were offering 40,000 uh, rupees per month for data science intern. Next was Haji Aerospace. They have taken four students, one from mechanical engineering, one from AI, two from AI and one from climate science engineering. And they were offering 45,000 rupees per month for the intensive role. TCS has also visited the campus. They have taken two students from robotics and automation system, one from uh, masters of product design and manufacturing department and one from AI department. And they are offering 25,000 rupees per month. Unilever has visited the campus. They have taken one student uh, from aerospace department for intern and they were offering 35,000 rupees per month. Next was Tata um, ELXI. Uh, they have also taken four students, one from management, one from MTech in quantum technology, one from MTech in signal processing and one from CSA department. They are also offering 25,000 rupees per month. Next was Tejas Network. Uh, they have taken one student from signal processing branch, MTech in signal processing from EC department. They were offering 30,000 rupees per month uh, as a stipend. Next was Signal Chief. They have taken one MTech student from Signal Processing from EC department. The role was Design Intern and they were offering 25,000 rupees per month. Next was Airbus. Airbus has taken four students, one from uh, ro uh, Robotics branch, one from Mechanical, one from Aerospace and one from CDS department. They were offering 40,000 rupees per month. Cisco has reached the campus. Cisco has taken one student from Microelectronics micro and Aerosol Design. And they were offering 120,000 rupees. Next was uh, Reverse Engineering Infospace Private Limited. They have taken one MTech student from Signal Processing Branch. And they were offering just 12,000 rupees uh, per month. I don't know who has, you know, accepted this offer. Uh, next was um, Art Park. They have taken four students. One from Signal Processing MTech. One from, uh, clim two from Climate Science. And one from Smart Manufacturing. They were offering 25,000 rupees per month. Next was Wipro. Wipro has also visited the campus. They have taken three students, uh, two from AI, MTech in AI branch, and one from MTech in CSA department. Uh, they were offering 85,000 rupees per month for internship position. Next was uh, Honeywell. They have taken one MTech student from CDS department uh, for intern master software engineering, and they were offering 70,000 rupees per month. Amazon has also visited the campus, but surprisingly, they haven't taken any engineering student. Rather, they have taken one PhD student from science branch, uh, particularly from applied physics department uh, for the role of applied scientist intern. And they were offering the highest salary of internship, that is one like 40,000 rupees per month. And finally, Micron has visited the campus. They have taken one MTech student from Center for Nanoscience Engineering and one MTech research student from Instrumentation and Applied Physics department. The role or position that they offered was PDP and they was uh, giving 50,000 rupees per month. So yeah, this was the overall exhaustive data about last year internship that happened in ISC Bangalore. And I have tried to give you the detail about all the companies who submitted the different uh, departments, the role that they offered and the salary structure that they offered for internship. So please remember this salary you will be getting only for three months when you will be in that particular company for the internship. But yeah, the salary structure was quite good for most of the company, except few company who is giving less than 30,000 rupees. I think that that's not a good salary for internship. But if you're getting more than 50,000 for three months, it's a good. But and, 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 and you can see, you know, uh, the companies are coming for all the departments. You know, it's not only about CSA, CDS, AI department. There are companies which is coming for science branches. For management, there are a lot of companies which are with the campus. For uh, robotics, quantum technology, there are companies with the campus. So, you know, company used to visit uh, campus. Maybe they are not taking uh, many students from the department, but yeah, company used to visit these campus and 
you know, you have the opportunity to clear the interview. Yeah, competition is tough, but you have the opportunity to clear those interviews and go for those companies for internship and placement. I hope this video will be helpful for many students because many students to ask me to uh, prepare placement videos about specific departments like, you know, like robotics, quantum technology management, uh, or maybe, you know, uh, VLSI, EC department. So I couldn't make those videos where I don't have data, but this data as it is a master data about all the placement, all the internship um, that happened last year in all the department. I hope this will give you an idea that, you know, company used to visit in all the campus and they used to take students from different and uh, different branches of uh, MDEC students on PhD student. So I hope this video will be helpful for many people. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button so that, you know, this get more and more reach and share my videos to other people also uh, who will get benefited from this particular data about ISC. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload new kind of videos, you will be instant notified. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until next time.